using the materials required for doing it. To do this, we need an empty glass jar, a metal plate with ice cubes and hot water. Now we will be seeing the procedure to make. Now we should pour hot water into the glass jar and cover it with the metal plate. Now we will place a metal plate. Place some ice cubes on this plate. In a few minutes, we see water droplets are formed on the underside of the metal plate. And formation of clouds in jar. These water droplets starts falling back in the jar. Now we can see that it the rain has been formed. Okay. But we all have a question that how does it happens? This is because the hot vapors rises up and touches the cool surface. This hot air condenses and the water vapor changes into water droplets and falls back as, as artificial rain in the jar. Some way, due to hot sun, the water bodies in the ground rises up as water vapor and it cools and condenses to form tiny droplets of water. These water droplets join together to form clouds. When the clouds can no longer hold any more water droplets, they precipitate to the earth as rain or snow. This continuous cyclic process in nature by which water changes from one state to another is called water cycle. Thanks for watching. Bye Hansika ji.